in this video we are going to see greedy florist problem in hacker rank this is practice interview preparation kit greedy algorithms and problem is greedy florist so here is a problem description a group of friends wants to buy flowers a florist wants to maximize his number of new customers and the money he makes to do this he decides he will multiply the price of each flower by the number of that customers previously purchased flowers plus 1 so first time he is going to buy in that case previous purchases are zero and is purchasing one so zero plus one into original price next time he already purchased one so previous value will be one is purchasing one more so one plus one and into original original price and so on given the size of group of friends the number of number of flowers they wants to purchase and the original prices of the flowers determine the minimum cost to purchase all the flowers so we, they need to buy all the flowers in this case for example k k equal to 3 that means number of friends are 3 flowers are 4 so each one will get a 1 now one flower is left in that case so what they are doing they wants to here the florist wants to maximize his number of new customers and the money he wants he makes so here determine the minimum cost to purchase all of the flowers determine the minimum cost so here what they are doing uh, they are uh, sorting this cost in descending order that means 4 3 2 1 <coughs> so in in that case each one will buy one flower that is 2 3 4 <coughs> at the original price so having each purchase x will be 1 that is previous value will be 1 okay now there is one flower left left out now the one flower value will be current purchase plus previous purchase current purchase is going to be 1 previous purchase they already purchased one so 1 plus 1 into 2 so total will be 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 equal to 11 they only this formula applies whether previously they purchased or not if they have purchased it one time that means previous value will will be what if they are going to purchase again previous value will be incremented by what like that so complete the get minimum cost function it should return the minimum cost to purchase all the flowers get minimum cost function has a array of integers that is price of each flower and k is the number of friends so first line contain two space separate integers n and k n is the number of flowers and k is the number of friends so we need to see yeah here is uh, they explained all the but sample inputs if number of friends and number of flowers are same in that case just sum it sum all the elements in the array so in this case 2 plus 5 plus 6 13 k 
case 2 number of friends are less than number of flowers so number of friends are 2 number of flowers are 3 we need to so they wants to get minimum cost to purchase this in this case sort this cost in descending order so two friends will get 6 and 5 they already purchased one flower right so another flower 2 1 plus 1 4 so 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 4 is a 15 also case 3 number of friends are 3 they have 5 flowers here so in that case sort this are in descending order first 3 friends will get 3 flowers 9 7 5 next they already purchased and so 3 into 1 plus 1 they are purchasing 1 again and previous count will be 1 because they purchased 1 and this 1 into 1 plus 1 that's what they did 3 into 1 plus 1 1 into totally 29 these are the test cases and uh, if you run the code if you we need to write a function get minimum cost they already written so get minimum cost complete the get minimum cost function here they give two parameters one is a k number of friends and a cost of flowers case one number of friends and the number of flowers are same just sum the cost return it else do this what i am doing here is mistake I did anyway I am converting this integer array to integer wrapper class just to sort these values in ascending order here you can replace that here itself here someone is declaring integer in the instead of that you can use wrapper class also by mistake I did that, that. so assigning all those values here and here Let's replace this code and uh, I'm sorting that uh, cost array in a descending order using arrays dot sort right it takes several uh, upper class integer array and the sorts in a descending order here is the actual logic first I am assigning a number of friends are suppose k right in that case So in the descending order array, I take k flowers amount and I will sum it, sum to cost. Then that means previous count will be 1, right. Difference is number of flowers minus k k times what I am doing here is we need to add previous value each time so number of friends are 3 means previous value will be 1 first time right we give 3 flowers to or k flowers to the friends next we need to increment the previous value will be 2 second time onwards previous value will, will be 2 
and current value will be 1. Right? Here, every time we are going to give k flowers to k friends from that array. So, the previous value will be incremented after k flowers. That is it, simple logic here. That is it. It calculates the cost and returns it. So, they have written already code how to read the values, all these things. K n is the k and c number of test cases k friends c is the cost of each flower here they are calling get minimum cost so i am asking you to replace this c integer with the integer so so that you can avoid this portion of code here just again creating an integer and uh, copying all the elements so you can use directly here so you don't want to replace this function you can do like this only that's it it returns the minimum cost they will display that value that's it run the code submit the code All test cases are successful. They're running almost all eleven test cases, eleven or twelve test cases. Okay, you see nine. See, they have hundred flowers. They have seventy-eight friends. So how will you distribute seventy-eight? How will you distribute 100 flowers to 78 people? Simple logic. First time they purchase, previous count will be previous count will be zero. Next time they purchase 32 flowers, and previous count will be one. After 32, first 32 previous count will be 0, next 32 previous count will be 1, again next purchase previous count will be 2, like that previous count will be incremented. That is what we are doing there. So, here 60, 18 friends, 60 flowers should be distributed among 18 friends, 55 flowers, 34 friends, 50 flowers you are going to distribute uh, to just 3 friends, we need to get a minimum cost means we need to sort the array in a descending order, then only you will get a minimum cost. Right. This is one way of solving this. There may be there may be another way of solving this. 